You're angling with Adria, and in this episode, I teach you how to rig a squid, specifically for swordfish. I'm gonna be using 50 pound nylon floss by Toughline, along with a rigging needle, which you're gonna go ahead and use to rig the squid. So you're gonna go ahead and uh, thread it through, and then you're gonna go ahead and get your needle, and I like to do it through the eye. I'm not puncturing the eyeball. There is a little piece of skin around the eye that you just lift up, and you run your needle through, as you can see here. So your goal is to attach the head to the mantle, and you're gonna go ahead and pull the line through, and you're gonna go ahead and do a loop, kind of like you're tying a shoelace in the beginning part. That's your first loop. Go ahead and cinch it down pretty good. Um, not where you're kind of over looping the eye with the mantle, but enough to that you're securing the eye and the mantle together as you can see here. Then you're gonna go ahead and do another little loop and secure that part. And then what I like to do is I grab both tag ends and I put them together and I do a loop together and I pull it through. So as you can see here, I grab both tag ends, I do a loop, I cinch it down, and I open the two tag ends, and I cinch it down again so it's secured. Once you have the head secured to the mantle with your knots, go ahead and cut the tag end. You're pretty much completed on one side and you're gonna go ahead and repeat on the other side. So again, you're gonna go ahead and run your line through the eye with the rigging needle. Then you're gonna go ahead and do a little knot like you're tying a shoelace. You cinch it down, you do that twice, Then you're gonna go ahead and grab both tag ends, do a loop, run the tag end through the loop, cinch it down, open up the tags, and cinch it down a little bit more to secure it. Cut your tag ends, and now your head is attached to the mantle. When you go ahead and lift it up, the head should not come off the body at all, just like as you see. Good job, you got the head attached to the body. Next is putting in the hooks. I'm using a VMC 10-0 hook here. You're gonna go ahead and measure the top of the hook, which is the eye to the top of the body. And then you're gonna measure the uh, bottom of the shank here on the hook. That's where you're gonna be making your incision. You could use the hook tip or you could use a knife just to get a little incision on the top of the body, making sure it doesn't go through the other side. Once you have your incision, you're gonna go ahead and poke the eye of the hook through the body and push it all the way up to the tip of the wing. On this particular rig i'm gonna go ahead and secure the hook with the um, nylon floss and my rigging needle and i'm gonna make an x shape um through the body um around the hook so it looks like you're crisscrossing the line Once you have made your cross on the hook, you're gonna go ahead and do your simple knot, cinch it down, do another one, kind of like how you started off with the, attaching the head to the body. 
that's how you're gonna go ahead and finish your knots here. Don't forget to put both tag ends together, run the loop through, cinch it down, and pull it tight. Then go ahead and cut the tag end, and you are pretty much done securing the head to the body and securing the hook to the wing part. You are now ready to continue rigging. I'm using a 300 pound double sleeve crimp for my 300 pound test leader. I'm going to run my leader through the first sleeve, then I'm going to make an incision for the hook hole. I'm going to run my leader through the hole and then run my tag end of the leader through the other sleeve. Go ahead and run your crimp all the way down where it makes a little loop on the leader with the squid. Get your crimp tool and crimp it down. Give it a nice pull here to make sure that the leader is not slipping through the sleeves. The last part is I am using a glow squid skirt. Um, I do like using these for my rig. It's up to you if you really want to use it or not. Uh, you could pretty much use any squid skirt. I like glow because uh, it's usually dark in the swordfish grounds. Um, so any glow, any light will help your rig. Um, I'm pretty much done here. This is my whole squid setup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe to my fishing channel for more content like this. If you have any questions on this tutorial, please comment down below. Thanks again for watching. Catch you guys later.